cannot fathom it. Has the day arrived, Mac is actually going to grace us with a tray installation. In this episode, we are going to run you through the manufacturing process Go on, mate. Go on, mate. for TD Industries, yep. as well as testing whether this tray is up to the shed life. Oh, look at that, straight up. Uh... Off-roading standards, let's get started. Welcome to TDI's workshop. We're down here. This is Blake's new workshop, and today the crews are getting an upgrade. I think you know exactly what it's going to be. I feel real professional when I hold this. Do you feel professional, Blake? I feel very professional. <laughs> <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, who, the tray lord, who is going to convert me to a tray, which many have tried to do. No one has succeeded at yet, so what do you think? We've got you across the line now. <laughs> well, at least this anyway, so this will be someone else's car, but do you reckon you could get me on mine? We're going to try. All right, we'll I think it. we'll have you by the end of the day. <laughs> We're going to get stuck into building this tray and showing how they go together. Got it pretty down packed these days, don't you? Like we pretty. Do. It's a well-oiled machine. Well-oiled machine. Yes. All right, so you can go from scrap metal to a tray pretty quick. Some so. beautifully crafted metal. <laughs> yeah. Folded with precision. Exactly. Into exactly. some... Uh... Remember, Blake, from such films as Blake does Big Red. Blake does Cape York. Basically, the man who gave me and TJ the balls to drive real hard tracks actually. Millsy's N70, yep. so it's cool to see how far the boys have come. This here, right here, is a 79 series tray. The 79 series do have a unique shaped headboard for yep. their brick shaped. Oh, come on, mate. They're aerodynamics at its finest. It's an lessons. aerodynamic brick. <laughs> yeah, this is a 79 series tray, which is what yours will basically look like. Um, cool. We thought cool. we'd give you a bit of a tour of the shop and then we'll um, show you how they're built and we'll get stuck into building yours. Just before we run away from this one, because it's finished, what are some of the main features, I guess? So all our trays are powder coated and in our texture black powder coated finish is standard. Yep. It gives you a nice, durable, um, long lasting finish, but also looks great. I can't stop touching it. It's really weird. And you won't scratch it because <laughs> it's not gloss. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, nice. All our trays come with, uh, for dual cabs, 12 stainless tight end points, all integrated. And these are 1,000 kilo rated each, so they're plenty strong enough to tie on your swags, your motorbikes, um, that anything you want on the tray. 12,000 kilos you could tie down? If 12 times 1,000 equals 12,000. <laughs> wow. Quick math. Quick math. That's some of our stand inclusions. Um, it's also, yeah, LED tail lights are standard. I and mean, we also offer all our trays fitted here, or we can ship them out to your door as well. Trundle drawer. Trundle drawer is an optional extra. Optional and Same water with our under tray boxes and a water tank. Okay, so um, there's some of the options you can upgrade on these bad boys. And then we've got internal fit out options. options and is, is that all stuff that you can add later? Yes, you can. So cool. everything is modular. So all our trays, they're the same design no matter what options you pick. So it does give you the flexibility with a change of heart. Um, you can add on those extras Sweet. later. I like it, I like it a lot. He's done well, mate. He's thought about it, I tell you. All right, let's have a look at some other stuff you got going on. So, what's this bit of a bloody... This is a tradie spec. This is a tradie spec setup. This Couple is like the old XL Falcons. Mm. Remember the, the, the XL Ute back Falcons? This yeah, a bit old. of space down the middle. We've got here a, uh, a fitters um, setup, all integrated toolboxes, all ready to go on a brand new D-Max. That's very, very cool. And you've obviously got your room down here for all your mm -hmm. materials or gas bottles or whatever. Yeah, Welders, exactly. whatever else you need. So this is our sort of lineup for next week's fitments here. Yep. We've got a next gen Ranger tray here in the middle that will get pretty fitted up starter next week. Another tradie pack. Yeah, another tradie pack. Yeah. Uh, that one's a little bit more different. And then this one's just a flat deck. That one's for a Ranger PX3. Ranger PX3, sweet. What's this massive thing, Blake? That one over there is an NPS. So um, as you drove Oh, in, the one out the front? Yeah, you yep. may have seen a nice big sandy rig out the front. I did, I did yep. see that. So that bit of an NPS platform we're exploring at the moment. So oh, that should be pretty cool. cool. Fab work over here. Yeah, so we do initial. Um, uh, I will say one thing. It's the cleanest fab shop I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> we do like to keep things neat and tidy, but we think that's an example of our work. All our trays, they sort of go together as a bit of a jigsaw Meccano set. So they all slot together and they go along their stages through weld out, finishing and sanding. And then they get sent off to powder coat paint and then obviously come back yep. for the pre -fitting. So this is where TJ's been all week making yes. the... Yeah, yes. yep. He's not bad. I know. People say he's good on the camera, but you haven't seen him on a welder. Exactly. You happy with that? Yeah, yeah. I hope. I hope you are. Alrighty, so this is the one metre canopy you guys do. I'm one of our smaller canopies, but still plenty of room inside. This is um, my kind of taste if I went canopy, I reckon. Yeah, this is the same size I run on the Hilux. You do um, you do all the 12 volt here? 
It's all in-house well, design. Do Red Arc and Enerdrive packages, so they're all seamlessly integrated into our canopies into a custom-built box. Yep. Uh, we've got uh, some of the features of our setups are we've got dual power outlets on each side, so that's power cool. on both sides of the canopy. Yeah, I did see that. The power points both sides too. That's yeah. really cool. And then you got USB and SIG on both sides. You can have tools charging one side, coffee machine running the other, or an air fryer. Boards are 2,000 watt inverters with uh, 200 amp hours of lithium. The most amount of camping gear I've got is like one fork, a spoon, and a little gas cooker. Well, that's so. all you can fit in a tub. So. Yeah, so. Once you get a canopy, you bring a bit more stuff. You get a you. coffee machine, yeah, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one's got our new fascia plate on the front with our Cymarine display. A little battery cover at the bottom, so the battery sits in here. This is one of TJ's favorite mods, is getting your rooftop tent as low as physically possible. So this is the Outback Tourer tent. And the boys have incorporated, what would you call it? Running? Unistrut. Unistrut tracks. Get rid of the factory mounting on your tent and mount it straight through that. Mm -hmm. So that's really, really cool. The boys at Abactura didn't like me drilling holes in their tent, so <laughs> for warranty reasons. Yeah. So we're gonna do brackets that bolt into the side. So it's only gonna lift it up by five mil more. Oh yeah, that's, which is bugger. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. So, totally yeah we're like, gonna do a laser cut bracket that it sits in and it'll just do two, like six bolts there or something. Yeah. And just bolt straight in with um, countersunk, so. That'd be cool. And we've obviously, we've got the Rome gear solar panel on top. Jared's local to us here. He good always looks after us. We get all our energy drive gear through. So yeah, Jared's a good. bloody good egg, isn't he? Time to rip tub off. We're going to put the tray on. And then, obviously, the winner of this gets to choose what setup they would prefer. So, what do you It is a choice. <laughs> what do you guys reckon in the comments? What do you think the winner's going to take? This tub or that tray? Got a pretty strong feeling I know what the winner's going to want. There might be a weirdo like Mac. <laughs> 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 oh, what we... oh, and a test the tensile strength of everything else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. of the remote <laughs> res. Uh... Oh, <laughs> I hope you had a shower today, Mac. You're gonna make the floor dirty, dude. I know, I know, right? What's he done? <laughs> <laughs> Shock mounts. Yeah, like Shock mounts? Oh, on the trundle. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna be close. Are you after a. Oh, g'day, mate, yeah. I'm after a top 300 series tray? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd give you guys the full uh, experience. Come on up. Up we go. Yeah. Bit nice. Maybe you get wine when you buy a. That would be irresponsible. Oh, alright. Let's discuss. Yeah. A tray for a 300. Anyway, this is upstairs. Plan out your build usually. A lot of our customers do want like an in-depth build, so they want um, yeah, internal fit-outs, all their 12 volt solutions. So we basically sit down, oh, understand okay. what you're gonna use it for, how you're gonna use it. Yeah, yeah. so. Um, well, that's a difference. Some some people don't offer that, but yeah, if you want a full custom tray, yeah. you come up to this table and you sort it out. We map it out <laughs> and we sort it. I didn't get a choice. Blake said, this is what I'm putting on. Yeah. I said, cool. And it's... you gotta build it yourself. And I got built myself, so I'm like, no worries, <laughs> sounds fun. TD Industries, guys, we're about to go shopping. We're about to start building a tray. You've got to build it before you put it on, don't you, mate? I won't be building much of it, but come to help the boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need two of these tray sides. So go ahead and grab those. We'll probably need one of these. That'll go on the back. There we go, load you up. Oh, yeah, throw it on, mate. Throw it on, mate. Yep. <laughs> mate, you are holding an entire tray right now. Alright. Oh, right. Let's go. Lucky it's light. <laughs> Keaton from RTK here. So hey main fabricator on site. What do we got? So we've we've squared it up. We put rear panel on, put our uni strut 40 by 40, squared it all up. Now we're ready to put a headboard on and the headboard infill will make it look like a real tray. So is this the part where we tack it all together, Blake? And what? You don't trust me. You don't trust yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't trust me dime bags, mate. Come on. Oh, I forgot them. Yeah, the unqualified welder is here, the welder truck. I'm, I'm keen to learn something. <laughs> <laughs> They're giving me a run through with MIG Weld and Alley, because I've never done it before. Two stage trigger, first stage is 135% arc. That's what this machine said at. Because it's a four stage trigger. Uh, you let it out, it's 100% and then you come back and it's down to about 50% which is your down slope. You want to, for this, just pull all the way in, hold it in and just run your weld. Oh, don't go to your second stage? No, nah, you wouldn't need to. At the end, just let off and then you might have to press it again. I forget, it's like second nature now. Bloody beautiful! Till the end. 
Yeah, oh, good. A bit, bit of a crater. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, that's good. You want a job? Dog bags. <laughs> I've got a bit of welding to do, so I'm just going to bang this out real quick and um, get the headboard on. But we'll get stuck into it and um, get it done. And uh, we're done. Barely even broke a sweat, actually. It's, it's that welding alley stuff's easy. <laughs> So this is the uh, next stage, headboard's on, yeah, it's stage welded up. Stage two, headboard's done. They've it's that stage three, it's been fully sanded, stage three. full welded out, ready for powder cut. Come back, it'll be powder coated, ready to go on. All right, so we'll chuck it on the ute, eh, and just... Just like that? <laughs> Pretty impressive how light, how light they are. Like, what, what do you reckon it weighs? <laughs> roughly, <laughs> roughly. So a completed tray, um, when it comes back powder coated form, when we fit our trundle, all our accessories, all our tie downs, um, about that 140, 150 kilo mark, depending on the vehicle. So that's a dual cap? A dual cap, yeah. And a single's probably that's a little like more. That's like lighter than used also. I reckon it would be. That's Toyota Hilux tub is 140, so you're about is the same. It? There you go. But if you weren't running a trundle, like a trundle adds a fair percentage of that weight because of the draw slides and everything in it. Yeah. If you weren't run the trundle, you'd be 45 kilos lighter. So A lot lighter than your average, I guess, steel tray yeah. that you'd normally build. But without any compromising strength. Head on the daylight. Woohoo! That's fantastic. What are we talking, Millsy? Like factory fuel. Factory fuel. And then factory lighting. Millsy's given Macca the easy job of wiring the rear plug-in tail lights. Yep, click that in and um, that's the Sparky's job done. I'm uh, off to the pub. Let us know when you're done, boys. <laughs> Time to get this work of art installed on the back of the 79 and this is where we get to see it all come together. Every little detail is taken into consideration with the carpet inside the drawer. As you can see, all we've got left to go is the underdraw toolboxes, flares, mud flaps and time to throw on the floor and take a look at the finished product. Guys, we would love to know if you think Max made the right decision here and let us know if you would take the tray or the style side. Where'd you come from? Where are we? We've teleported to the test track because Ooh. it's what we do. Yeah. It's our favorite thing to do. <laughs> if I'm gonna <laughs> if I'm gonna become a tray lord, I need to see what it looks like on the track. Are you a fan? Do you uh, like it? If you were to win this car, what would you take? Oh, no, I don't say it actually. Still don't know. I still don't know. I'm on the fence about it. So <laughs> there's literally only two trays in all of Australia that could have converted me. One is Pooley's trays. We saw you guys in the oh, comments saying, yeah, throw a Pooley's tray on it. But Pooley's not making them anymore, guys. Unfortunately not. Pooley has retired from trays. I think he's going to do the odd one here or there. I just think this is one of the, the toughest, more my style trays, you know, like. It does look incredible. I it's, really it's got aggressive lines. It's got aggressive departure angle. But yeah, I, um, we, we were just keen to see it working again, guys, because you would have seen in the first build episode, it had no tub and it was super light. Obviously, it's not enough weight on it to move everything correctly. So, we'll see if we... I don't know. Do I look like a tray lord yet? Quick disclaimer, we're on 40 PSI. It's a little bit moist out here. Anything could happen. And uh, I'm too lazy to pump my tires back up. So we're just going to send it. <laughs> the rear diff lock on, factory and we are in 40 psi thank god for the lift otherwise that departure angle would have really destroyed the front end other than that we are just absolutely crawling this i'm going i'm going straight for the hard line while it's still a bit wet see if we can get it nice and difficult all right front lock is now on oh look at that straight up uh, Oh, nice. It's too easy in a cruiser. That's coil swap, four inch lifted in 35s. <laughs> Turning. Whoa, what happened to that? That's all rutted out now. Jesus. Okay, this track has changed a fair bit. 
Uh, it's pretty rutted out at the moment, so I'm going front locked from the start. Oh, she's eating it up. I actually thought that was going to be way worse than it is. A little bit tippy in that hole. Uh, pull out of it, pull out. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yay, the cruiser! Oh man, someone's going to win a sick card. Okay, lock her back on round two. Tell you what, these fuels, I know they're brand new, but they grip really nice. Like, we're on 40 pounds, and it's just eating it up. Down a tad. Yeah, straight. All right, straight down. Right hand down. Yep. Oh, there goes brakes. <laughs> How's the angle on it? Yeah. Make sure I don't touch the trail on the exit. All right, slow. It shouldn't. It's got right hand down. Yeah. <laughs> to all the tray lord, tub lords and wagon lords out there, or four by four lords one would say. Just want to say a big thanks for supporting TJ and myself. Pumped to be able to build you guys a creation like this for, for someone to win. Don't forget you can follow the Shed Life 79 page. There's a build page on the car which is going to go with the car. I like to do that for everyone so that's pretty cool. This wasn't like this last time. No, no. So I've had the, I've had the flares and bumper colour coded now and it's really, really made me like this car. So there was something that always annoyed me, like proper. It's looking tidy. It's weirded me out that everything else was gray and black and then I had these dirty silver <laughs> art, like body panels, like. Yeah, right. You've done the style side too, but that's, that's not on at the moment. Yeah, so I changed those big ugly flares off the style what side. What else is coming for the cruiser? Believe it or not. You heard it here first, guys. These Some, there's things. more to come are extremely basic on the interior. No. No, I know. Oh, that's a little bit different to my 300 series, yeah. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of interior mods to do. Yeah, you got some 12 volt interior and like accessories and... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Interested, should I stay tray lord? And what are you gonna take? Are you gonna take the tray? Or are you gonna take the tub if you win this bad boy? Mm-hmm. Let us know in the comments what else you wanna see done to the cruiser. What do we got, four weeks to go? Four weeks to go. And someone's gonna win it, so. Someone is gonna win it. Just wanna say a big thank you for supporting TJ and myself. Don't forget how to enter this bad boy. Any shirt, any hoodie, anything off the website is free entries to win this bad boy. Or if you're in the Shed Life Club, you're already in this, you're accruing entries. Just, I'm just stoked to be able to give someone such a wicked prize and change their life. What you wanna do, tell me what you like. What you wanna do, tell me what you like. What you wanna do, tell me what you like Just say the word, baby, I'ma get you right What you wanna do, tell me what you like What you wanna do, tell me what you like What you wanna do, tell me what you like